Hey there everybody, Pet here, and welcome back to Pet Plays Rim World of Magic Royalty. One point one. We have a lot of things, actually. We got Freeze, yes we do. We got Freezies, how about you? Uh, we got Mage Light, which is not that useful. We got um, Clean and Dirt, that's pretty great. We have a settlement here that, it's Treewick, I believe. Oh no, it just says... Sources Ragamuffin. Uh, point three days drug trade will be resolved. And I'm not sure how that's going to go yet. Treewick is currently losing us money. But Treewick is also being upgraded. That also says Ragamuffin. So I guess that's... I guess that's just accurate for now. Planting some more cotton. That's good stuff. Good stuff. I could use some improvement on my plant skill. At least a little bit. Then we also have two blink spells on the docket. Uh, okay, there's a lot wrong here. Uh, Desmus is 28 years old. That's not actually a problem. Hostile elements have created a breach into your world and are pre preparing to send assault teams through the rift. Rifts cause mayhem in the atmosphere as energy leaks through the rift into your world. Following effects may occur for each rift element. Meteor showers, heat waves, toxic fumes, berserk animals... Hailstorms and rapid declines in temperature. Lightning storms destroy the rift to end the nightmare. It is a granite rift, apparently. Yo, let's get everyone on this. Okay. Because this feels important. What the hell? Lesser earth elementals. They can apparently be hunted, but not tamed. I'm guessing they have a ranged attack on them. Let's see, damage, 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 range block chance. It doesn't say that they have a range attack, so maybe they don't. In fact, it'd probably be better if they didn't. I'm assuming that this is an Earth Rift. Based on what little I know. Okay, they probably have some wicked armor. You had 90% sharp armor. Oh boy. That's a potential problem. I don't think Shark Walker's magic is going to be the best here. Uh, yeah. I have concerns. Melee lads, get up front. Get ready to melee fight. Oh, one of them's down. Raynal, come over here and help with the assault. Okay, both of them are down. This is good for Bitcoin. I don't know if they can be butchered in anything, but I guess we'll find out later. All right, you were looking for magic, guys. Well, we got some magic going. Now we need to oof this rift. Uh, elementals are coming through the rift. Okay, there's more of them. Hold back. Dismiss. Yeah, I see your spins. Oh, good God, that is not a lesser. Oh, shoot it. We are far closer to that thing than I want to be. And even though I did mention, I don't know if fire is going to do that. Actually, we can... Oh, never mind. The big one's dead. God, this team is good. Okay. Are they resistant to fire? Yes, quite. Not a completely, but quite. Oh, one of them was just downed. Right, the animals are going berserk. Okay, good to know. Uh, Volpe and... Fiat. Because the two of us... Have the best weapon for it. We're going to move forward a little bit. And we're just going to unload everything into the rift, while the others who have a little bit more uh, accuracy to their shots and less shoots per do can attack the animals. Yeah, we're, we're pumping a lot of damage into the rift. Okay. Bit of a cooldown period, but we know about this. More elementals coming through the rift. More, yep. Okay. Uh, switch targets over to the Earth Elementals. I need I need to select that. I'm behind Volpe. Okay. Okay. Shoot the Elementals. Frank in front. Shark Walker in front. Zenus in front. Creo in front. Okay. 
Another one. Another group bites the dust. Let's keep going with our shoot. God, Volpe has so many different methods of attack and defense, I suppose, technically. Oh, it blew up. Oh, it created toxic fallout when it blew up, too. I didn't even notice, or not when it blew up, but before that. Jade! Minor arcane gem of regeneration. Can you soon be an item, increasing energy regeneration of any mage or fighter wearing the item by 5%. Gem of holding. Gazing the stone gives the observer an eerie sense of vertigo, as if looking into a bottomless well. Gem can be used to imbue an item, increasing the maximum energy of any major fighter wearing it by 5%. Cool. Some gold, some uranium, some steel, some magicite. Dude! That was amazing. And I assume, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and undraft everyone, because y'all did a hell of a job. Uh... So we can equip it for enchanting. Okay. Let's just carry those in for now. There's probably still going to be some animals that are zerking. I don't think we can see that on this screen, can we? Uh, don't slaughter a tame animal, please. Nah, I don't think we can. Still, good to know. Good to know. Huh. There's a kill count for wild animals. I never noticed that before. Interesting. Sharkwalker has encountered one, temporarily, but he's fine. Yeah, don't worry. The turkey's not going to get you, dude. Hunt and or finish off both of these animals. I, mean, I guess this thing's not technically an animal. I don't know if we can slaughter an earth elemental, but if we can, I'm really curious as to what it would give us. I mean, we are putting it in the slaughter zone. Freaking rats. Yeah, I didn't even notice a toxic fallout right away. So, we had a little bit of build-up between dudes. Uh, Sai, don't need to be a coward, dude. In fact, you're a pretty damn good shot. You should fight. Miss Mask, you're okay. Alrighty, then. I guess we all learned something today. Yo, Creo, can you, like, do some butchering? I want to see what this Earth Elemental gets us. Yes. Break it into pieces. Six unrefined magicite. You know what? Any uh, any free magicite is free magicite, my dudes. We got like 80 something. And we got jade. Jade means magic stuff. Almost have enough for a mana pocket, but not quite. But we how many how much dry words how much dropped again 87 we have enough for a focal point yo the type of materials used can give you more bonuses so for example we get success chances focal point can create can link the power of two mages to perform powerful rituals okay 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 cool so that's something we could build with that, and it's pretty neat. But that's pretty much it right away. I feel like we should build a catapult for funsies. But the range on it is not that great. I mean, that's not a big surprise. Ballista actually has much better range. Uh, drug trade, okay. Investigating drug trade. Take down the facility. Or incorporate it into our official production lines. Welcome to the rim, baby. All right. The drug line has been incorporated into the settlement's official production. A random tithe of drugs will be delivered to you on a five-day basis. Minus 10% base tax. Yikums. Affecting Treewick. Okay. I mean, that could be terrible, but it might not be. Uh, let's see. Put wood in the ballista. It holds 20 shots before a rearm is needed. Does 40 damage with a range of 45. That ain't that good. Catapult. Range of 500. Oh, that's pretty good then. Uh, and it doesn't really tell you how much damage it does, but I assume you put a rock in it and it does a thing. So that must be the minimum range then, right? 
Yeah, that's probably what that actually is. So you know what? I do, in that case, want to build a catapult. I do, I do, I do, do. Uh, but do I want to make it out of wood? I mean, I guess I do. That's like the that makes the most sense, honestly. So let's build a wooden catapult. Let's see what it can do. The curiosity is killing me. Yo, we're gonna be able to make some blink spells. It's so good. All right, uh, Creo, go take care of yourself. You're like very hungry and very tired. That probably threw off everyone's sleep schedule, but I'm sure it's worth it. Hey, Volpe, 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 when you get a chance, can you make it rain? Sorry, that's a little important right now. You, got, you need to make it rain now. Thank you. All right. I know sometimes it takes a few hours, but we do need that spell. I don't know if I want to build a focal point right away, or if I'd rather build, like... Honestly, we have everything for this capacitor, too, now that I think about it. Capacitor has 71 efficiency. Mana Pocket has 80. That's actually not that big of a difference. The range is a little, little stinky on that. Whereas the Mana Pocket has much better range. Like, yeah. Problem is, if I put it out here, anyone in here can't get the mana. Because it, it, it's affected by walls. Which I guess isn't that big of a deal, but it is something to note. We could put it, like, right here. And that would be cool. And, like, the little capacitor could maybe go in here where it still stays relatively safe for now. Yeah, let's build this. I want to see how this works. I'm interested. What can I say? So, Volpe brought snow. Which is not rain, but it has the same effect here. So, I'm okay with it. Yeah, as long as it takes out the fire, I'm fine. An exotic goods trader from the Iron Alliance walking through. Hello! You know, for an Iron Alliance, you're carrying a lot of bronze. I'm just saying. One of these days, I will be able to talk to you guys. Anyway. Yeah, that's cool. We can trade with them. Good times to be had by all. So, is Treewick... Oh, there's still a negative 78. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. And we're still building them up, right? So that'll last for five days itself? Okay. Okay. Or is it just the tithe will appear every five days? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I assume the tithe will appear every five days. Upgrade in 2.6 days? Looking pretty good there. Yeah, yeah, the, uh... The loss here is actually getting lower and lower. Needless to say, very good. Very good. I hope the big lad is worth a lot more Magicite. I'm just saying. Miss Mask, Night Owl in daytime, will go to bed. I'm not forcing to stay up. I don't know who is. But they're probably a jerk. Anyway. This is good stuff. Good stuff. So, one thing I was going to test, and I actually forgot to do it. I wanted to see if the underground heater can in any way, shape, or form... This is all steel, right? Yeah. So we have plenty of steel. Any way, shape, or form provide light? And it might not be able to, but it might. So, let's put it in here, for starters. Right there. All right. Traders are coming by. They have brought their finest otter, and I appreciate this. I do. Yo, before I consume honey, let's go ahead and do the trade. Talk to Corsi. Get that done. And then make sure to go brag about how we took out some freaking elementals. Uh, oh, we can hire them from here. I want to trade today, though. Uh, we could sell animals, which we might want to do. Ooh, the griffins are worth so much, but I don't want to sell the griffins. We'll sell the bear. I was talking about that earlier. I think we'll sell the bear. 
They have some chihuahuas. We have a couple of koalas. The Kasune and the Chilean are not worth as much as I thought they'd be. Hmm. Learn something every day. We have Componies. They have Componies. They have a specialized limbs tech print. And by they, I mean we. Uh, Super Soldier Serum, excuse me. Enhances their physical abilities. Incapacitates a pawn for a couple of days while the serum takes effect and develops over several stages. Any pawn may take the Super Soldier Serum, but only physically adept pawns may acquire the Super Soldier trait. The serum will reduce magical potency and potential. Okay. Isn't Reynold physically adept? Vertigo Pulse. Eh, neat. Uh, Circadian Assistant? Clears toxin buildup from the brain. Huh. Uh, I guess I gotta view this. Restfall Rate. Ah, oh, makes you get sleepy less quickly. Psychic Harmonizer. Forcing others nearby to feel a blurred, simplified version of their emotions. Hmm. Ah. Gotcha. So it kind of spreads your emotions to other people. Psychic Silencer. That's ours. We could sell it, but I don't want to. I am bloody well tempted to sell whatever I need to to get this Super Soldier Serum, though. Uh, including all of the gold, I think. What else? We could sell the Silencer. I mean, I can't really... I kind of want it. But at the same time, I really want this serum. They have a bronze fencing sword as well, but I'm not too impressed by that. Um, oh my god, we're so close if we sell the components. We might be shooting ourselves in the foot temporarily, but... Do it. We now have one super soldier serum. Reynold, haul it inside. He's physically adept. He can acquire the trait. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm curious. Oh, hey. Uh, apparently, these three nations have their relations with us going up over time. Hmm. That's new. Reynold. My dude. Go straight for it. Who cares if you're missing limbs? You're going to be the best. The very best. Super Soldier Serum. Stage zero. No consciousness, hunger rate, and tiredness way up. Holy cow. Okay. Just realize he's all... Well, no, he's no longer our... Um, we have a lot of medical professionals now. It's a good thing his stuff was inside. Uh, go carry him home. Shark Walker. If you'll do me that favor. So we just need to keep him alive for a while. Of course, now the red Molago attacks us. They want to use sappers to get around our defenses. They have a lot of people, but they are... I mean, ultimately, they are tribal warriors. Okay, everyone except for Sharkwalker and obviously Reynold. Uh, get up and get ready. Come over here for right this second. Oh no, our fishing canoe. Boat sunk. It's still salvageable, apparently. Well. They won't be in a minute. Just lighten it on fire? Jerk. So these ones will probably run into the mercenaries. Who I am hoping they will attack. Come on, Shark Walker. Bring our boy home. Okay. First group of lads coming in. Second group of lads coming over here. Homeboy's gonna be in trouble. Are they are they attacking? No, they're just moving. Yes, they are attacking them. Okay, good. That's gonna help. I don't know what that noise was, but uh, I heard it. Shark Walker. Come down here. Yeah, I don't think Killer's going to survive this. Alright. 
Throw a fireball at Babao. Bam! There it is. That felt good. And then start slinging fireballs. Okay, how are we doing up here? Zenis took a little bit of damage. Hey, can we like attack the one who's right next to us, please? Thank you, Volpe. This group will, yeah, I was gonna say this group should run away quickly. Get down here. Let's help the other group. Shark Walker, fireballed, help door. Bam! <laughs> okay, get up here. There we go. Oh, this team. Just a bunch of champs. Bam! Shark Walker with a little bit of extra fireball power. This fireball now costs 35. Beautiful. Okay, Volpe, you can do heals. And I see that you've already gotten that started. How's the damage looking? Uh, Frank has a stab scar. Big damage to his torso. Uh, Zenith with damage to his eye. Volpe, go ahead and heal Frank first. Where, where is he on this list? I can't see you under the pack of literally everyone else, dude. Uh, well, I mean, I can see Zenus, so I guess go ahead and heal Zenus. Excuse me, your eye's not fully... Uh, it's almost healed. Okay. Mm, killer might make it. Homeboy only got one piece of damage on him, so he'll be fine. Tromi survived. She's 53. Magically gifted and psychically dull, yet she was never given any talent with that. What a waste. Psychopath brawler, dude. With the exception of Sickly, she's got some, like, 10 out of 10 traits. Don't freaking arrest her. Capture... No, we don't have a bed for Tromi. We couldn't put Tromi right here? No, don't turn it into a hospital. Don't turn it into a thing for guests, okay? Um, There we go. Capture this person. I don't think anyone up here actually survived. Negative. Deconstruct the fishing canoe. We're never going to use it. All right, Volpe, Volpe, Volpe. Uh, how's Da Vinci's damage? Da Vinci will probably be fine. Okay, Volpe, get down here. We're gonna start throwing some heals on Killa. Oof, a bow cut to the head. At least you were able to tend to yourself. All right, throw heals on Killer. I mean, one heal and Killer can walk again. <laughs> How tough's the shell, by the way? 375 is its full health. There ain't no half shell, I'll tell you that. Alright. Killer will be fine in the long run. A bronze longsword, huh? Nifty. Is that better than... the? Oh no, it's a plasteel weapon. There's no way a bronze sword is going to be better than a plasteel one. I don't care what length it is. All right. Yeah, their weapons are suck. Yo, can we sell some of this stuff? Uh, go find Frank, by the way. Give him a, some healing next. By the time you get up there, you'll be able to cast again. Uh, me. Talk to Corsi. See if she would like to buy some of this stuff. And I genuinely... Ah, this was his birthday party. Okay, cool. I genuinely don't care too much if Tromi lives or not. I mean, yes, she, is, she has some awesome stats. And we would probably recruit her if we got the chance, but... You know. You know. There we go. That was probably the heal that we needed. I'm sure I'll be fine at this point. Thank you, Volpe. Corsi! Dang, I can't sell the weapons. Probably need to haul them in first. Flat screen TV, though. Neat, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's right. The stakes are worth a lot of money. I always forget about that, but... Stakes are worth a surprising amount of money. In this world. I mean, I guess they're worth a lot of money in... The alternative, quote-unquote, real world as well. So... Cool. Parasite, 61% grown. 
Okay, our main builder is kind of out of commission right now, too. Yo, none of these deteriorate? That's good. That's very nice. I like that. I appreciate that. How's Reynold doing? Uh, still stage zero. No, never did say how long it would self-aid. Self-aid is possible for super soldiers as a result of the genetic enhancements they acquire from the serum. This ability allows them to consciously store or consciously focus energy to tend wounds rapidly. Self-aid is unable to tend grievous wounds such as missing body parts. 60 millimeter mortar. Softens up enemy targets before a fight even begins with a personal mortar system. Can be easily transported by a super soldier and quickly deployed to launch three rounds of indirect fire. He has a built-in weapon? And he can specialize in weaponry. Oh my god. What have I done to Reynold? Oh, this is not what I expected. And he knows CQC. <laughs> oh, awesome. Super soldier. Reynold is a highly trained soldier specializing in pistol, shotgun, or rifle weapons. His weapon specialization is augmented by a standard set of combat training. Super soldiers are trained to be aggressive and consider any violence and consider violence to be the natural solution to any argument. Dang, the rest of our stake rider away. I should have sold it all. That was my mistake. Uh, immunity gain speed up, movement up, carrying capacity up, pain shock threshold up, aiming time down, social impact down. <laughs> okay. Psychic sensitivity down. Work speed down, learning factor down. So it's kind of too bad that he is a brawler and hates shooting, but... Well, I guess that's how you learn things. Let's just give him shotgun specialization. Yeah, we're going to be putting points in the CQC. Proves all aspects of shotguns. Okay. CQC. Common training for soldiers that allows them to smoothly execute a vicious co uh, combo attack against an enemy in melee range. Cool. Reduce uh, the energy to use. Increase strikes per base level. Damage of strikes. And balance the chance to perform a CQC attack. Neat. Troll's blood. Increases the number of wounds tended by one per skill level. Oh my lord. Oh wow. And then mortar expert. He can deploy a mortar system. What? Oh, Pablo, no! Oh god, we can't... Shark Walker! Start tending to Pablo. Door will be fine. Pablo, no! Don't die on me! Tromi can die on me, but Pablo, no! Okay, he's doing it. He's doing it so far. He's doing well. Okay, the fire's way over there, thankfully. Uh, did we get any level ups on magic? Nope, we did not. You know what? The CQC is worth it. Oh, he has buckshot now, too. A shotgun shell that fires multiple pellets. A sheer volume of rounds this uh, charge can be devastating at short range, but disperses rapidly. Okay. He has to have a compatible weapon for it, of course. And a specialized explosion. Oh, Pablo died. Damn. Hmm. Seems weird that you would need a shotgun for a breaching charge, but okay. That is still pretty cool. I mean, I don't have... I didn't have anyone else available except for... Uh, well, Zenus is no longer uh, physically adept either. He's a... He's a uh, Wayfarer, which means he technically has a class, which means he doesn't count. So, good to know, I suppose. Alright, Shark Walker, you can do it. Alright, Door's gonna be fine. Killer is probably gonna be fine. Yeah, Killer's likely gonna be fine. Got some alpaca meat, though. Okay, we need to feed Reynold. Uh, I can do that real quick. Alright, and I assume once the serum is done, he'll get up and he'll be better than ever. 
We'll have to see if that ends up being the case, but I assume so. With nothing to base that on. Well, winter has begun. Welcome to the first of December, my dudes. That is going to be it for this episode of that plays RimWorld of Magic Royalty. We got some magic. We got some RimWorld. We got some royalty. We had a good time. And, uh, I mean, we just lost, uh, Jibby Muff, so I guess it wasn't that bad. Yeah, if you liked it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more, because it's going to keep coming and won't stop coming. Until next time, thanks again for watching this episode of Thet Plays Rim World of Magic Royalty. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video, my dudes.